Hello. I don't know if you can see me yet. This happened last week. Can you see me? Yes, you can. Hello, you now people. Hi. That connected a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Hello, Amy and Zoe and Martha and Lana and Kat Dar and Paige and Virtual Rosie, Sammy, Sarah, Georgina, Abby, Ultimate Gabby, that's a good name, uh, Jordor, Pika Mondu, Zuzuka, Melina M, Sila, Courtney, Alice is Not Boring, Lizzie Bear, Unidan Corn, Polly Page, Jesse, Luna J, Paige, again, I think there's two pages here, uh, May XX, Jocelyn R, Jasim, QTR, Christina, Jezard, Claudia. I'm just going to tweet this now. Thanks to everyone that just arrived knowing that I'd be here. I'm on time as well. I think I actually started broadcasting at 7 on the dot. That's like the most punctual I've ever been. I'm going to give myself a round of applause. Thanks, Phil. You're welcome, Phil. Okay. Uh, tweeting and Facebooking is happening right now. Is it happening? Yes, I have done those things. Hi, Drakey and Rian and Claire D and Kirsty L. Everyone's going to be flooding in right now. Hopefully, you got to know each other a little bit. Amanda, Lenza, Diana, Kristen, Angela B, Amy, Carson, Molly P. Welcome. I'm having a strange hair day, so sorry if I touch my hair loads. Also, I'm having a slightly bearded day. Look at this stubble on my face. So inconvenient having hair growing out of your face 24-7. Uh, yeah, I lost my shaver plug. So I went to start shaving, and it just went... Bzz. And I was like, okay, I need to charge this before my live show. Couldn't find the plug. So I look a bit disheveled. So I put a, a fancy shirt in, so it kind of make me look a bit less like I hadn't tried at all <laughs> because I was wearing like my old Sonic t-shirt and I just looked like someone that had not prepared to speak to how many people? 6,000 people. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I look a little bit more presentable now, even though it's not ironed. I'm rubbish at ironing. I never iron anything. Usually you can just get it out of the wash and it doesn't need ironing, but this really does need ironing. Oh well, I'm sure you don't mind. I bet half of you are in your pajamas anyway. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I mean, let me know if you're in your pyjamas in a non-creepy way. Skerad is eating nachos. Good choice. Alyssa is also eating nachos. Kaylee's in her pyjamas. Sarah's in a onesie. I don't own a onesie. I've never owned a onesie, unless you count, like, the Pikachu and lion suit. I think I'm missing out on the onesie craze. Hello from California. Hello, California. Loads of people are having nachos. Is it like Nacho Sunday or something? It's Mother's Day. Happy birthday to... <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to any mums watching. Happy birthday. Um, unfortunately, I can't be with my mum today, but I'm going to go see her next week. I did send her some flowers, though, which was a tough operation on a Saturday. I had to work out where the florist was and then ring them and be like, can you deliver to my mum on Sunday? And they were like, okay. So she got some flowers today. Thanks, Gonzalez Meg, for the bars. And you are the top fan. Gonzalez Meg is the top fan. Yeah. She got some flowers. It was a celebration mix, which I chose on the internet, which was lots of brightly colored flowers and a few chocolates as well. Not chocolate flowers. The chocolates came separately. So they should sell chocolate flowers. That would be the best of both worlds. Anyone freaking out right now? It's not Mother's Day in America or other countries. But it is in the UK. I don't know who invented the dates, but they should really get their act together. Because it's so confusing for everyone. I always have a heart attack when people start going, Happy Father's Day! And it's like, oh, what? No, it's not. What are you doing? Did anyone get their mum anything nice? A horse? I told my mum I was going to send her a dog. Because she really wants a dog. Uh, but you can't have a dog in an apartment, unfortunately. So they can't have a hound just yet. What breed, said Karen. I don't know what breed. Any kind of dog would do. A small dog. I don't think they could have a Great Dane. Get her a puppy. You can't really buy people a puppy. It's not a thing you can just go, surprise, here's a lifelong commitment that you've got to pay for and feed. <laughs> Maybe a goldfish. I could send a goldfish. 
I forgot. I remember one year that I forgot I got my mum a pound in a really... <laughs> I made this really crappy box that I coloured in with felt pens. And then I put a pound inside the box. And I was like, Happy Mother's Day! I was about 11, so I think I could get away with that. But she was like, thanks, Phil. It's the thought that counts. I gave her a poem, said Yasmin. I'm all for poems and handmade gifts. So that's good. I'd be happy with that if I was your mum. If I was your mum. What a weird thing to say to someone. Madison's at the store. Madison's stealing things! Sorry, Madison. <laughs> I apologise for that. Notice me, senpai. I've noticed all of you. The chat's actually going quite slowly. I don't know if that's because it's not letting you talk very fast or something. I don't know what's going down. So what have I been up to? I was in Dan's video. Where's the nose? I brought the nose just to like put it on for this bit. But here we go. For Red Nose Day. Make your face funny for money. My nose... Is almost too big for the slit. <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, we did the blindfolded makeup challenge. This makes me sound like I've got a cold. The blindfolded makeup challenge. We did that, and so many people got involved. I was overwhelmed. I was looking on Instagram with Dan yesterday, and there's so many things with the R and D face hashtag. So congratulations, guys! If you want to donate to Comic Relief, you still can. I've forgotten the actual details now, because I'm a bad person. Uh, how do you do it? You text the word FUNNY to 70011 and it will donate a pound to Comic Relief. And that will help people in the UK and Africa. 70011, text FUNNY. Uh, yeah, and if you then do that, you should post a selfie on Instagram with R&D face, making your face look funny, and then we will like some more of them this week. <laughs> what is this, actually? Is it a ninja? It looks like a little ninja. Look at his face. He looks kind of suspicious, unlike he wants to stab you. Uh, so, we learned that we should probably be beauty, guru beauty gurus, even. Because I thought our makeup skills were pretty great, you know? What did you think of our makeup skills? If you've not seen it, it's on Dan Is Not On Fire's channel. I tried to introduce a new thing called ear tint, <laughs> which was applying a little bit of makeup or lipstick to your ears to just contour your whole face. Uh, I think ear tints are going to catch on in a big way. Long live the ear tint, said Cad. I think it was Cad. Hashtag ear tint. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to catch on. Look out for people with ear tints in 2016. And Dan's sheets got covered in makeup as well, and his carpet. I scrubbed that carpet after Googling how to fix it. You had to get a... I got an axe, but it said a blunt blade... To then scrape the lipstick off and then dab it with laundry detergent, which I did and it worked, so that was good. Ear tint is the new thing, said Maggie. Notice me, senpai, I noticed you. You're the newest beauty vlogger. Yeah, Dan and Phil Beauty is going to be launching after Dan and Phil Crafts. Uh, and then we'll just have everything on YouTube gaming, beauty, crafting, vlogging. Kristen J said, ear tint, Phil. She liked the ear tint. Lisa Michelle said hello. Hello, Lisa Michelle. Gabby loved the video. Thank you. It's nice to be given an excuse to do something a bit silly, if it's for a good cause as well. Astray's wearing a Domo t-shirt that looks like space. Jealous. The video is great, man. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it was a really fun video to film. I mean... Anything blindfolded is usually quite funny. This is my first live show. Welcome! Welcome to the first ever live show. What have I been doing today? I've been returning some clothes from Top Man. I bought like 27 things that I could wear for the Brits, but I didn't know which ones to choose. I ended up with my tartan blazer thing. But I've just been returning loads of... What's that hair doing? Ah! 
It's a bad hair day, guys. I'm sorry, I keep touching it. Um, yeah, I've been returning loads of clothes. And I did. I bought this tie, and I kind of hate it, so I'm sending it back. I mean, it wouldn't suit this, but it just, like, it looks kind of like rainbow static. But it's actually little flower petals. But yeah, I, I kind of hate this tie, so I'm returning it. And I bought loads of shirts. One was meant to be like a crimson and blue shirt that changes colour when you look at it, depending on the light, and it just didn't do it. It was broken, it was defective, unless it was like the dress and only certain people saw it as red. I love the tie, said Erin. Very nice, said Annie. Oh, well, it's going back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rachel R. The tie is going to die. It's going to be a tie-dye. Rest in peace, tie. You were never worn, and you cost me ten pounds. Ten pounds? Professional dry clean only. It's twenty dollars. Or fourteen euros. Tie facts. Uh, I want to do a little Q&A now, so if you want to fire any questions at me, both in the main chat and in the premium chat thing, I will answer as many as I can. Chaz said, what happened on Friday the 13th? Nothing unlucky for me. I was actually alright. I survived without getting hit by lightning, without getting run over by a dog, mainly because of that octopus I tweeted which so many people retweeted. I think I scared you slightly. Uh, that was funny. Uh, did anyone have anything bad luck happen to them on Friday the 13th? Any scary stories of Friday the 13th? Bella went fishing. That's dangerous. You're near, uh, you're near a body of water and there's animals that could bite your hand. Sarah failed an exam. Oh no, I'm sorry. I had a test. I gave blood. Well, that's good. Giving blood. You could help someone that's dying. Uh, anyone else had anything bad happen to them? In a non-morbid way. Emma almost burned the house down. Sarah gave blood too. Everyone's giving blood. What was this? Anne almost died. Nicole got a tattoo. That's not bad luck. Alyssa won a plasma ball. Dog ate my sandwich. Forgot to lock the house. Fell in a pool. My horse died. Oh no. Walking Dead flashback. Hopefully not in that way. Um, official Ella said my fan fell from the ceiling. That's why I'm scared of fans above beds. Because imagine if that fell down while you're in bed. Would it not like chop you up on the way down? They look heavy. And dangerous. I farted. Jujum's car broke. Grandma yelled at me. <laughs> a pelican bit me, said Jesse. I wonder what situation you are for a pelican to bite you. They've got terrifying mouths. They're like this big. I saw a pelican in London once, just chilling out on a bench. I was like, why are you in the centre of London? You giant pelican. That was weird. Anahita's back. Welcome back, Anahita. And Boopy Luke just proposed. It's a yes to everyone who proposes. Uh, yeah, so that was my Friday the 13th. It was fine. I actually went out for a really nice meal for my friend's birthday. And it was all delicious. I went for dim sum, which is like the best thing in the world. I just want to eat dim sum for the rest of my life. Little packages of deliciousness. How's your day been, said Riley. It's been pretty chillaxed. I played a lot of Mario Kart this morning. I've become obsessed with Mario Kart online. I'm still kind of terrible at it because everyone online is like super obsessed. So I've been trying to get better. I usually come about fourth, which isn't so bad, but I want to win. I want to win. Hi, Madison. City fan said, what'd you get your mum? I said, I got her chocolates and a celebration mix of flowers, uh, which she liked. Any other cues? Luke said, what do you think of the Muse song? So did Helena. At first, I, I didn't like it at all. Like, on first listen, I was like, oh, I don't like this. I listened to it three times more, and... the time I listened to it with headphones, without watching the video, I liked it more. I really didn't like the video. And I don't like the army sergeant 
I just think he's really angry sounding and I was a bit like, oh, I don't like your voice, go away. But the actual song itself sounds good. I just don't like the army sergeant. I think if there was an edit without the army sergeant, I would like it more. But I'm excited for the album because apparently that's not the single they're releasing. It's just like a track on the album. So I think because it was released, everyone was like, this is the new track. This is what new muse is. So it was a bit of a big deal. Uh, but now I know it's just an, an album track they released as a bonus. I'm more excited to see what the whole thing will be because it could really fit well in the whole album, but maybe not as the first standalone thing that they release. But it has been in my head a lot. Like, it's been stuck in my head. Uh, so it must be quite good. No. That bit. If you don't know what I'm on about, if you listen or search Psycho by Muse, you can have a listen to it and form your own opinions. Hey, Maddie is on fire 18. Everyone's just in the premium messages. They all say, how are you today? Uh, Jocelyn asked a better question. Have you tried any apps? From last week. I'm rubbish. I haven't tried any of them because I was obsessed with Sleepy Wings until I deleted it. So now I've deleted it, I'm going to try some of those apps, I promise. I've saved them. But if anyone's got any fun games that I should play on the iPhone, let me know now and I'll add to the list. I promised you I'd go play them as well, but I was just obsessed with freaking Sleepy Wings. I've played 2048. There's the Dan and Phil edition of 2048 that I found once. I'm not playing the Kim Kardashian game. <laughs> uh, any other ones? Puzzles and Dragons. Ice Cream Cats. Two Dots. Minion Rush. Sorry, I'm not reading your names. The chat's gone really fast again. Okay, Sal Raw said the 80s cat. Any game with a cat in, I'll like, I think. Rebecca said duet. Is that the one where two things move at the same time that are wheels? Dan's got that and I can't do it. It's like tapping your head and rubbing your stomach. I know that's my stomach, not my stomach, but that's below the camera. You know, wait. <laughs> I can't do it. Wait. Wait. Oh, we're doing it. There we go. That's what that duet game is like. I just can't get my head around the two different things happening at the same time. Bye, Bianca. Thanks for coming. Uh, Crossy Road. Obviously, I've already got Crossy Road. Abby said Geometry Dash. Okay, I'll try those out. And I promise, by next week, I will have tried some of your games out. Maybe I could even do some apps on the gaming channel. That would be fun. Which has a million subscribers. We've been so busy this week. We're going to make a video for it. Next week, there'll be more Dan and Phil Gameses. Congratulations, Roger said Taylor. Thank you. It happened just before my live show last week. So we've already had a little celebration for that. Hi, Kennedy O. Gina Halliwell said, I've done a make yourself funny. Make yourself funny? I think you mean make your face funny. Yay. My dog heard your voice and got excited. Ruff, 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 ruff. Ruff. Uh, Luke said, are there any horror movies that you want to watch? There's one called It Follows, which everyone was talking about last week. So I really want to watch that. It Follows. I've got no idea what it's about, but it's meant to be really scary. I'm in the mood for a really scary horror film. I might watch one this evening. I'm in the house on my own. Freak myself out watching a horror film. Do you like sheep? Said M11 something something something. Yes. They've got friendly faces, don't they? Abby said you should watch the trailer for Unfriended. I did. It didn't bother me as much as the rest of the world. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I'm desensitized to blenders or something. Have you played Plague Inc? I have. That's kind of a sick game. Slightly too real. Destroy the world with a virus. I was rubbish at that. Where is Dan? He's gone home for Mother's Day to hang out with his family. 
I don't know what they're doing. I cannot prank or scare Dan because he is not here. Hello! When I'm home alone, I always listen to music really loud, but then I hallucinate that I've heard the doorbell or my phone ring, so I'm always pausing the music like, is someone at the door? Is someone at the door? Someone's outside. Someone's in the house. It goes back to when I lived in a really creepy giant house, which was terrifying to be left alone in. I hated being left home alone in my old parents' house. It was so scary and big that if you were left home alone, there'd be so many lights to switch off, and then you'd have to get from the bottom floor, where like the pool table and the TV was, all the way up to my bedroom, which was on the fourth floor. So I'd have to switch off the lights, then run, and then switch off the light, and then run. And I was so scared of burglars or demons. I'm not sure what I was frightened of. But, yeah, that house was scary to be left alone in. If it was more than two days, I'd get a friend over to stay, just because, like, even when I was not a child, I got scared in that house. I had a stray... It was an amazing house. I loved that house so much. It was just scary to sleep in at night. I don't know why. It's because it was too big and noisy. Every room had noises it would make. Like, you know in the middle of the night when a TV just goes BONG! For no reason. It was just like that in every room. Terrifying. Why does it do that? Because it cools down or something. I'm just like, can you not? Because I'm trying to fall asleep and then my TV goes <laughs> I love to be home alone, said Sigmi. I'm fine in this place. I can be home alone in this place. I just hallucinate that I've heard the doorbell. Something in my eye. Uh, uh. My Unas it keeps breaking, said Taro. Just to refresh it. Maybe in a different browser or something. MCR are coming back? No, they're not. Are they? What is this thing today? I've seen people tweeting about it today. I've just been like, I don't want to get excited about something that might not be real. So I'm just going to wait and see what happens. I'm not crushing your dreams, I'm just saying I'm not getting excited about it yet. Because then I'd crush my dreams. Notice me. I'm noticing all of you. Romy said ear tint should be a thing. Definitely should be a thing. Hi to Kelsey and Morgan. Are you watching any TV shows at the moment? Uh, the Walking Dead, I'm watching. Watching e Evangelion Neon Genesis anime. Which is very old, but very good so far. It's quite scary, actually. It leaves me with a bit of a scary vibe. Just because, I think because it looks slightly grainy and old, and then it's all about robots in the future and the world ending and stuff. So it just leaves me with a weird vibe. I'm loving The Walking Dead at the moment. I'm enjoying what's happened. I'm not going to say anything, because everyone's like, Don't give me spoilers! So no spoilers, I promise. You should watch Scandal. Catrific is obsessed with Scandal. She keeps telling me to watch it. There's no spoilers, I promise. Awkward said, Did you celebrate Pi Day? I was rubbish yesterday. I had such a bad headache. Which I get bad migraines like once every two weeks or so. But yesterday's was rubbish. I couldn't do anything. I, it was literally to the point where I was just lying down in a dark room waiting for it to go away. I had a headache too. Why do brains do that? It's so annoying. Usually I can get rid of it if I have some ibuprofen, or ibuprofen, or ibuprofen, everyone says it differently, uh, and then it just goes, but yesterday it was just like, boom, boom, boom. Luckily I wasn't presenting the Brits or anything, I had a day off, so I was like, okay, well that's fine. I'll just play some Mario Kart, which does not help with headaches, by the way, if you're on Rainbow Road, and it's just like, whoa. Now my brain hurts even more, but I'm having fun. It's like, do I want to lie in a dark room or play Mario Kart? What am I going to do? Nice stubble. Thanks. It was unintentional. Someone's hidden my shaver plug. I like your shirt. Thank you. What are you doing tomorrow? I have got a thing. I don't know if it's on TV or if it's just like a 4 OD thing. We're recording for something called Two Players which is a series of just people playing video games. So it would be like a little Dan and Phil Games video on TV. Or not on TV, I don't know where they're putting it. On the internet somewhere. Charlie is so cool like did it, and it seemed like fun. You just have to sit on a sofa for two hours playing a game. But they don't tell you what the game's going to be. So I'm very curious what they're going to make us play. I don't know if I'm not meant to tell you that, by the way. I will. 
I've said it now. <laughs> no one told me not to say anything, so. Um, that's happening tomorrow. I just hope they choose a game that I'm good at and it's not like FIFA or something and then it'll just be a little TV show of me being awful at a video game. I'm an alien, said Herbie Burbett. Go to the government and tell them to tell the world. Or don't, because they might cut you up and not tell anyone. I wonder if the government found out about aliens, they would tell us. I don't think they would. I think they'd keep it a secret. And then they'd do a big cover-up like the X-Files. The X-Files just made me believe that the government's up to loads of weird things. There's definitely alien bases under London. Where they're experimenting on them. It's turned me into a molder. I'm all conspiracy theorists now. I'm very sick. Get well soon, everyone else that's sick. Seems like now it's March, everyone's getting sick. I don't know why. Maybe because it's got a bit warmer, the cold virus is easier to spread or something. Dying of Cupid said, Shelter 2. I know Shelter 2 came out. I was like, that's coming out soon. I didn't realize it'd be so soon. Definitely going to play that. It's about lynxes this time, which is awesome. Also, I saw a news story that they're thinking of releasing Lynxes back into the UK. Which would be awesome because if you have seen the Lynx, they're like the best creatures in the world. They're crazy looking. They look like Pokemon. But it would be sad for deers because they eat deers. Like their natural food is deer. But apparently the UK wants to control the population of deer. I don't know why it's a problem that there's too many deers. But Lynxes could be fixing that. I mean, would they not, like, eat small children and sheep and things? I'm not sure. They seem slightly dangerous. I'm completely uneducated on this, by the way, so <laughs> that's just what I think from reading a headline about it. What are you talking about? Lynxes! L-Y-N-X! It's a lynx. It's a cat with crazy fluffy ear things and they eat deers. They're very shy, said Eleanor. Oh, are they? Maybe they wouldn't eat children then. Eve is moving to London soon. Yay, neighbours! Unless you're my actual neighbour, then that might be slightly weird. Not the body spray thing, said Gina. No, not the body spray, which is the same name, which is named after the creature. Which is weird, because in America and most of the rest of the world, it's called Axe. I am a man. I need my axe. I am a man. I need my lynx. I feel like lynx is a better name. TBH. I'm wearing some lynx today, actually. Lynx Apollo. Kind of stinks. The lynx stinks. It's not that great. I'll be honest. Stinky lynx. <laughs> It does. There's one that I usually get that they didn't have, which smells nice. Because it's, out of all the antiperspirants, it's the best at not making me sweat. I don't buy, like, the body spray, which is just, like, smell. I buy the one that's dry, which is actual antiperspirant, and that, that works really well. But most of the smells are really bad. City of Books said it reminds me of middle school boys. Yeah, and it's, like, the stink of a boy's changing room is just that. Because everyone's mum's like, have some links, child. Or you get, like, a big box set of it for Christmas. I used to like quite a few girly um, deodorants. I use Sure sometimes, just because it smells nice. Not the anti-Black Marks one, just, like, the standard Sure. Which I think is unisex. I mean, really. It's all the same stuff, isn't it? Just smells a bit nicer. Who says I have to use the thing with the boy label on it? I'm comfortable enough to use the girl one if I want to use it. Hey, Turkis and Shavam and Mia. You should do an Easter cooking video. Well, that's an idea. I haven't done an Easter cooking before. And I um I like a lot of Eastery snacks. So that that could be that could be an idea, maybe. No promises though. That's a good idea. What would you make? I don't know. Maybe Easter cakes? I mean, the cakes last time for Halloween were pretty <laughs> disastrous. Uh, but maybe. I don't know. 
I'll have a look for some Easter inspiration. I usually take someone else's recipe and tweak it to my own thing. Delia Smith, she could return. A hot cross buns. A cheesecake, said Angela. That sounds a bit advanced for us. I mean, if we failed with cupcakes, a cheesecake would be a whole different level. Although I do like cheesecakes. Which is strange, because I don't like cheese. Dye your hair in Easter colour, or like pastel green or something. If I had to dye my hair, I think I'd, I'd do it like pastel blue, like an anime character. I'd cut it a lot shorter and dye it like light blue, maybe. Pastel edits IRL, yep, that would be me. Pastel blue is my favourite colour, said Slay Me Howl. Well, imagine it on my head. I, I'm too pale for that, though. It'd look cool if I was slightly not dead looking. Dye the eggs. Tyler Oakley has good hair colours. With his greens and purples and pinks. You already dye your hair. Black as night. It's kind of brown at the moment, actually. Look at that. Kind of brownie. It's just it looks black from far away. Drawing game, said Cabrief. Uh, we'll play it later. A little bit later. The Darkest Night. Brownie. Because so FML fan. Oh, Easter Brownie. We've already done uh, Halloween Brownies. Don't get rid of the fringe. I, the fringe can stay for now. Did you do anything else this week? I saw my friend, who I haven't seen in about six years, and it was... Really cool, but also really weird. It was like jumping in a time machine. If you go, I think, more than three years not seeing someone, it becomes a little bit weird when you see each other again. Because a lot, like, so much has changed in your life, it's hard to compress that into one conversation. Like, so you're, you're a completely different person now. Hi. Uh, but yeah, I went out for some food and stuff. And first thing that struck me is now he has an Australian accent. So I was like, whoa, this is like someone else is talking to me. I'm so confused. Uh, and, yeah, we still had a lot in common, though. It sounded like a sheep just got hit by a motorbike outside. It was like, bro, um, yeah, we played some Halo, which is what we used to play at university. Where's Dan? He's at home somewhere with his mother having Mother's Day times. Holly G nearly got arrested. I'd like to hear that story. Carrot cake. I love a good carrot cake. Saudi Arabia loves you. What, the entirety of Saudi Arabia, or just you? That sound was so weird, Luke Senpai. It was. I don't know what it was. I have to play that back in slow motion. You looked good with makeup, Phil. Thanks, Wendy. I've already said I'm going to be adopting the ear tint. Um, we'll see what else I adopt. Maybe a little bit of blusher on my eyes. This is where I put it on Dan. Can you twirl your tongue? I can. I can roll my tongue, which is a thing. I think more people can do it than can't do it, so it's not that impressive. Thoughts said, please give me your eyeballs. I'm not going to be giving you my eyeballs, I'm afraid. That's not going to happen today. Kaylee's got to go. Bye, Kaylee! You noticed me and I cried, said Romy. <gasps> I noticed you again. It's an endless cycle of tears. What are you wearing on your feet? Uh, I, <laughs> I'm wearing one bare foot. There's some little toes. That's all you get to see on my feet. <laughs> and one owl foot, which is an eclectic mix. <laughs> I stood in some chocolate. And embarrassingly, I don't know where the chocolate came from. So there's just, like, chocolate somewhere on the floor, which is really gross. Uh, our house is tidy, so I don't understand how I got chocolate on my sock. But there was some somewhere, and it got onto my sock, so I took it off. It was annoying me. Why only one sock? I don't know. I probably should have put another sock on. It was definitely poop. It wasn't poop. It was chocolate, I promise. I gave it a sniff. What was the... <laughs> You gave it a sniff. No, it, did. it was cho definitely chocolate. <laughs> Can you say hi, Crystal? Hi, Crystal! Who is texting me? 
It's my mum. What does she want? I'm on you now. Maybe she'll come watch. Hi, mum. Hi from everyone on you now. That is like 9,000 people saying hi to my mum. Hi, Phil's mum. We have the same text tone. It's a bit annoying, actually. Bing! Just change it. What shall I change it to? I'm turning into such an old man with iPhones because I don't know where anything is now. My phone really annoys Dan as well because it's completely disorganized. Like the app store is on page four and then my settings are on a different page. Mohammed Alms is now the top fan. Congratulations. Anahita's number two. Jocelyn's number three. Jasim's number four. Kyle Fo Kai Force Thug is number five. That's a cool name. Kai Force. Oh, what was I doing? Sounds. Ringtone. Text tone. No, that's my text tone. I don't know why it went bing. That's like the standard one, right? That's weird. That's horrible. Who would have that? Ugh. It's like you've just been shot by a bee. Swoosh. That just reminds me of sending an email, so I can't have that. Swish. Suspense. Imagine if you did that every time you got a text message. Sherwood Forest. Okay, that's like, the queen has just arrived. <laughs> that's a bit too eager. That's like, hi, I'm really important. Uh, fanfare? No, thank you. Electronic. That sounds like you've just been electrocuted by an angry man. A chime? That's all right. I prefer that to the other ones. Bloom. <laughs> that's like a text tone that's had too much Ribena. The duck one? There's not a duck one. I mean classic though. Maybe there's a new one. Playtime. Oh, I'm on ringtones. Sorry. Hello. Popcorn. I like that one. I'm gonna have that one. Hey, I like that one. That's well better than the one I had. Aurora. Okay, I'm going with popcorn. And then my phone exploded. <laughs> That's mine, yes! Everyone should change theirs to popcorn if you've got an iPhone. Anahita's on the top fan again. Congrats. That's mine as well. It's a delicious snack. Hey! I got one. Ba -ba -ba. Ellie Morgan, are you here? Said someone. I don't know who that was. We have the same text tone, yay! I feel much closer to you right now. I just changed mine to popcorn too. Popcorn buddies. I feel so powerful I've just changed the text tone of at least 500 people. Can we do the drawing game? We are going to do the drawing game! Hold on to your hats. In like five minutes we will. I promise. Jocelyn said, what's your favourite word? Um, popcorn is a good word. What else? Z I like Zeds. Pizzazz. Pizzazz is a good word. Uh, llama. I haven't really thought about that. My chat just froze. Oh, it's back. That was confusing. That hopeful just proposed. Congratulations, we're now married. Except we're not, because that wasn't real. I'm sorry. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Indigo Perry said, how are you? I'm all the better for talking to you, Indigo Perry. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. 
That was weird. I just synchronized with myself. What? My mum's like, I can't watch you on you now. Well, she can't see everyone saying hello to her then, can she? I have to study, said Erwin. I'll teach you things. Give me a subject. I'll teach you. Did this the other week and it went terribly wrong. Fire a subject at me. Math, said Average Lester. Right, let's teach you some math. The radius of a circle is the center to the middle. Is that right? Oh my god, that was throwing myself under a bus. That's the diameter. The radius is half the diameter. Yeah, so it's the center to the side, right? And the circle edge is the circumference. I remember my GCSE maths, every single thing was circles, so I've kept a little bit of circle knowledge. Look up the circle song it teaches you. What the freaking heck is a circle song? The circle song. Let's find out. The circle song. Here we go. Circles. Wow, <laughs> that's just educated the world. I'm scared. Oh my god. It was very weird. The circle has a radius. It started with showing the London eye and explained the, the circle. Uh, who else wants to know something? KT Smith wants to know something about psychology. Okay, there's a thing called Pavlov's dogs where he would ring a bell whenever he fed his dog. Or the dogs. Eventually, the dogs would salivate when he rang the bell without any food because he'd conditioned them. It was called conditioning. So maybe every time I do you now, I could ring a bell and then when you hear a bell, you'll think of me in a weird way. No? Okay, maybe not. Conditioned reflexes, said Christina. There we go, that's psychology. Esther said neuroscience. There is a Part of the brain called the hippocampus, which I think is a cute name. And if I had a child, I would call it hippocampus Lester. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Uh, science, says Zoe. Um, the <laughs> I feel so, I'm so much on the spot with this. What do I know about science? The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. And acid makes litmus paper go red. Right, that's enough. That's enough lessons with Phil. I mean, you've got enough teaching at school if anyone's still at school. Let's do the drawing game. That's way more fun than work. Let's create a monster together. Get your pens and papers out. Y'all ready for this? Do 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 monster, the drawing game. It's time to draw a monster. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Um, give me a face shape, please. Go, 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 go. Right, we're gonna have a square face because Dean wants a square face and Dean gets whatever he wants. Oh, this paper is rubbish. You can see the other monster poking through. I bought, wait, right, this is better. Square face. So draw along with me as we're gonna all reveal our monsters together at the end. What kind of eyes? Gracie said egg eyes, which I quite liked. Do some egg eyes. Mine are like eggs in a pan kind of eyes. But they could just be like hard boiled eyes or whatever you like. I haven't left much room for eyebrows. Uh, what kind of nose? Any kind of nose? Who was screaming? Someone outside, I don't know why. <laughs> There's someone in my garden. A popcorn nose. Right, do a nose that looks like an exploded popcorn. I 
I've done some nostrils on that nose. Any kind of mouth? A pouty mouth, a duck face, a heart mouth, a banana mouth, a duck face, an awkward something. Leah? Was it Leah? Okay, do a duck face. I don't know how to draw a duck face. Um, I think I've done it wrong. Oh well, that'll do. It's doing a duck pout thing. Uh, any kind of eyebrows? Hot dog eyebrows, said living not on a nightmare. Do some hot dog eyebrows. Okay, my hot dog eyebrows look very weird. Never mind. Uh, right, what kind of hair should we have? Any kind of hair? Flower petals, said Bella. Chocolate bar hair. Pizza hair. Anime hair. Let's do some anime hair. Crazy, spiky anime hair. Think Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Or Goku. Okay, got my anime hair. It's looking pretty great, actually. Any kind of body now? What kind of body shall this thing have? I gave it really bog-eyed eyes. It's looking in completely different directions. Um, the body is going to be the body of a... What are we going to have? A noodle? No. A triangle? No. A slug cat? A panda? A teddy bear? I like that. A spider, said Neem. Neve. Mario, a French girl. A rocket, said Emily. That'd be good. Let's do a rocket. So draw a tube with then some fire coming out of the bottom. So I guess the fire is the legs. So the fire is the legs of the rocket. Right, what kind of arms? Any kind of arms? Lizard arm, said Sam Speaks. Wings. Wings. Everyone wants wings. All right, do some wings. On the side of the rocket. I guess that makes sense. But now it can't hold this cup of tea, so it's just got wings instead of arms. Oh, well. Uh, what's going to be in the center of the rocket? Like, what do you want to be there? Like a window? The, I reckon we should have a window. Then what should be inside the window of the rocket? Like, who's piloting this crazy beast? It looks awful, said Amber. Oh, no. Oh, dear. You. You, you, said Seth. You, said Haley. All right, draw me. Draw me piloting this rocket. It's, it's been, I think that might be the first time I've been in one of the actual drawings. We're making history, guys. Uh, <laughs> there, there's me in the rocket. Cool. Uh, anything else you want to add? to this before we're done. Anything you want to add? Planets. Okay, well, let's do some planets in the background. Top hat. All right, do a top hat on one of your planets. The head shape was square. Anything else to add? Mohammed is now the top fan. Congrats, Mohammed. An ear tint. All right, give it some cat ears. As someone else said, cat ears. And then add a little ear tint on the side. Because that is what is important. Du, 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 du. And I think we're done. I'm going to add some stars just so it looks more cosmic. All right, you ready to see it? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> so we have a square face, egg eyes, popcorn nose, duck face, anime hair with cat ears and ear tint, with a rocket, with wings, with me in the rocket, and stars and planets, and a planet with a top hat. I like that one. I think that's a good one.
Amazing, amazing, said Alexandra. It's actually very elegant, said Lucy. <laughs> Can I tweet you mine? Yeah, of course. Tweet me your creature. We need a name first, though. What should we call this thing? What should we name it? It's a masterpiece. It's beautiful, said Annette. Ethereal. Trevor. Pop Rocket. Herbert. Rocket Phil. Chuck. Obama. Phil Rocket. Phil Ship. Rocket Egg. Flame Phil. Space Phil. Cornelius. Philgon. Amazing Rocket. Rockman. Edgar. Amazing Rocket. Cosmo. Astro Phil. Jonathan the Rocket. <laughs> I like that. I'll just call it Jonathan the Rocket. Jonathan the Rocket. Because I'm not the Rocket. I'm in the Rocket. I'm in Jonathan. There we go. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Feel free to tweet me your Jonathan the Rockets. And I'll have a look through some of those later. Um... How did yours go? Did it look like mine? Was it any good? What messy hair I have. Um, Little Blue just proposed. It's a yes! Pretty similar, said Alex. Yours was majestic. Nightmares forever. I, I think that's one of the first we haven't had nightmares about. Mine wasn't too bad. Mine's horrible, said Avery. Uh, Cantil said mine looks like a foot. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. I actually like this one. Oh good. That's good. Alright, I'm going to answer a few final questions, then I'm going to head off into the wilderness and order some food. I'm hungry. Might get some ramen or something. Japanese. Anahita's the top fan again. Congratulations. Has anyone else moved up the ranks? No, we've still got Kai Force is number five. And Jessim and Jocelyn. And Mohammed. Mine looks like Spongebob. Hope you had a nice day, said Becky. I did, thank you very much. Notice me, I noticed you. Happy Sunday, said Madison. What are you going to eat? Oh, I don't know. I think it's going to be Japanese food. I'm going to get some sushi, I reckon. Sushi or some noodles. Get some corn. <laughs> Let's just get some sweet corn. Ooh, sushi is the best. Just I really like soy sauce, so anything like I can dip in soy sauce, it'd be a dream. I missed it, said Brianna. No, sad. I'm sorry, I'm just about to leave. Katie Lee said, I need a hug. Here is a hug. <laughs> Say hi to the French Holians. Hi, French Holians. Morgan just proposed. Tanya said, are you down going to VidCon? Most likely. Haven't fully confirmed it yet, but I think we are. Hi, Gabriella. And hi, Kaylee Stone. It's Mary's birthday today. Happy birthday, Mary. Right, I'm going to head off and get some Japanese-y food. Hope you've enjoyed my live show. I think Casper Lee is going live after me. Maybe. So you could go say hi to him. Tell him I sent you. If he's not, then that was a lie. Uh, thanks for coming. I'm going to say bye to loads of you now. Bye, Sophie. Bye, uh, Fan Yay, by Maya G, by Lisa Michelle, by Bushka, by Kaya, Sarah, Madison, Isabel Davy, Jackie, Jocelyn, Oh Snap, Ashley, Lovely Lester, Maddie is on fire, Serena is okay, Nancy Morales, Abigail, Sarah, Maifa, Wendy, Chelsea, Abigail, Spice Lester, Alessa, Trinity, Gabby Allen 22, Alicia, Luna Ferry, Tegan SD, Livenda Brink, Trinity, Diana, Nind, Olivia P, Bella, Loki the Cactus, and Diana A. Thank you very much for coming. I'm going to cover you with this tie that is going to get sent back. Du, 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 du. Wow. Bye.